Bora. Sai, vai cair. Foda. Ah, trem bom, viu? Sim. É, fudeu pra descer, né? Got a problem? You want one? I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? the hell out of here before she kills us all you you get out of here Family. on Marston it is good to see you <laughs> Olha aí, a mais braba I de heard tudo. a rumor you was alive Jim Milton that you guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you 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 kill a feller up by Roanoke sure did I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I um, usually. Then. Porta essa barba de puta merda. Ando já. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Deixa eu cortar o cabelo, moço. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. Uh, 
about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. Hey, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? <laughs> Good lord. Seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Oh, we gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Isso, para, hein,
me! Hogtie the bastard! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man! But it's all a mistake! My wife... My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not. What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. Oh, bronze in the de tempo Olha <risos> do jeito que ia subir no cavalo, velho. Bora. Eu não ia subir, eu ia tirar. Foi não. Dinheiro não tem nada, mano. Vou mexer, mano. Watch one of the 
deputies let a fella out of jail for a bottle of whiskey. It wasn't even the expensive stuff either. Get him, Clark. Get him out of it. How are you doing? This place hasn't got the better of me yet. My. Yes. I just win. Só deixou de nascer ali. Deixa eu ver isso. Ó. Jesus amor. All right, girl. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? You. Hey, Mister. Hey there. Hello. Forgive me, officer. Okay, it's time you were moving on. I thought you had no reason to be here. Of course. I'm off. I'm giving you one more chance. You change your mind. No second thoughts now. On your way. Move! Hey! Come on now again. <sighs> How you doing there? Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, it's Hello, time man. you were moving on. Don't act tough. You ain't. You've walked into this one. Either put that thing away or go outside. Somebody do something! Sweet Christ!
Oh, mano, não tô entendendo. Vamos se eu tenho dinheiro pra pagar essa besteira, mano. Oh, my. No harm done. Why don't you just stow that gun, huh? I don't see a reason for it. I mean no harm. Uh, and how are you getting along? Oh, do excuse me. Ah, não. Ah, não. All good. I'll be seeing you. This century can't be any worse than last. Olha que pesado com isso, cara. Easy, Mister. Vai dar merda, eu vou entrar lá, tô sem procurada e não tem como pagar. É, tá uma maravilha. Tudo. G, G. Grana pra isso eu tenho. Pô, oh. ah, tá, mano. O jogo lixo. Resetar na moral. Não
salvamento automático. Perda de missão aqui, ó. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Hello there. Howdy. You know, I used to fancy being a lawman. Agora vai, olha pra você ver que bosta. Can I help you? I hope so. <coughs> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> That old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Let's go, girl. Tá lerdo, viu, cara? Tá demorando. Ah, agora ele... Lord have mercy! Oh, hey! hey come back! Oh, no! Oh, hey, sir! Could you help me? My horse ran away. I hope so. 
Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! You ain't coming out of this alive, you... Não bate, caralho Tá difícil Apertando F aqui Briga mais feia Horrorosa Ficou usando o olhozinho Tá em câmera lenta. Que viado. Ô oh, raio. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well. I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs>
care how I see. Now where with are we headed? You damn rut, fool. This ranch up. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? On a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth? My lord. Not that it's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. That's even worse. You can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think... smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Acabou a barba dele, viado. Hey, lady. por cento cavalo ah, lombago I am I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and... I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Oh, 
outra imagem tava com barulho de chuva e parece que não tava chovendo. Back in San Denis. I never like this place. Oh, yeah. Me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? A vala veio junto no teletransporte Trem Ai, ah, sobeira Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. And you are a killer. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. We don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. 
What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies you know what? And gentlemen, I've seen him in better condition. I'll bet against him. Treat for you an epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Next time, bet on friend, mister. Isso, mano, ele tá com roupa e arma tudo nada. We just made the bed, I said we should. So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, I'll just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal? He always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Hey. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. Zero. Heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. Okay. Uh, 
Hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> É, outra já não mata. Esse aqui também se matar não tem problema. Vou levar quatro balas a mais. Matou o cavalo ali. Keep your eye out. Santa Ana ain't short on police. Remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. Falou o caso. Further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have of denying it at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I tried to get. Pisar na asa frente, viu? Nós, de boa. You see anything? Já matou outro cara ali também. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, John Charles. <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Eve.
Noventa por cento da área. Tá já. Pau, velho. Bora. Das horas. Feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> you good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Era só aí. Ok. KS. Amish. Paga essa recompensa. Tá, ah, essa foi a Shit! Ah, right with you. Holy hell! Small sum to do. Não tenho dinheiro, pô. 
Uma maravilha. Não tem dinheiro agora pra pagar. Três lugar. Esperar o jogo. Zero centavo no bolso. Sadie? Oh, John! Come sit down! Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in. And I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but... Now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. I the Plus, on. I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Okay, Missy. Yes, ma'am. No! What the same hell is with you? Yeah! That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. You're not He's doing us. Okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But... I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang? 
changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for him. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. James Langton, the bounty hunter. He's got this help. As mesmas armas. Are you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. We cut off here. Take a look down in the valley. Who's who? Well, the bounty, the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Underneath us. Let's go. Yeah. They'll be coming through here. Easy, easy. There they are. We follow a 
Keep an eye on him. Here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay.
Don't you I kill every last one of you, Lightning? Tá de Denis, tá é morto essa porra. Come on, lady. Down the canyon, let's run. Mano, os caras colocar arma pra mim, tá nem fizeram. Are you going to speak? I don't know there's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead, Langton's dead, his men. You ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is... I might be more cut out for this work than ranch, or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Eh. Ela tá morto, mano. Não é possível. Não fala nada no México. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff. Damn this! We brought in Shane Finley. Well, I'll oh, tear it in the brass. A bed. O cara morto nas. Eu sendo procurado. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, 
If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Errado. Nela do jogo. Progresso. Estava 90. 92. Então deve ter mais uma safe. Então por aqui. Falou.